Hmm, why is my car remote not working? Looks like I need to get closer to the car. Ah, now it's working. Hey, seems like your battery is low. Yeah, I realised that as time goes by, I would need to get closer to my car to unlock it. This is because the battery capacity affects the range of the transmitter. The lower the battery, the shorter the transmission range. Let's go to the lab. I'll show you how to evaluate the performance of coin cell batteries. Hi, my name is Kenny, Product Manager at Keysight. And I'm Shahmi, an Application Development Engineer. Today, we are going to have a look at Keysight's E36731A Battery Emulator and Profiler and how you can use it to accurately and efficiently evaluate the performance of coin cell batteries under various conditions and usage patterns. We have with us Xiaomi to demonstrate how to use this instrument to ensure your coin cell batteries are up to the task. The first step of testing a battery is through profiling it. Profiling enables us to gather detailed performance data about our coin cell battery. So when you mention performance data, what are the parameters they are being captured. We capture critical parameters like the open circuit voltage, internal resistance, and state of charge. These parameters are a must to understand the performance of a battery. Through Keysight BV9210B software, we are able to use this data to create an accurate model of the battery. This profile mimics the behavior of the battery under various conditions, providing us with a solid foundation for the next step, which is emulation. Now let's talk about emulation. Why do we need to emulate a battery and what are the benefits of emulating it? This is one of the core capabilities of the instrument. By emulating our coin cell battery, we are able to replicate its behavior under a wide array of conditions without needing the physical battery. That's interesting. So I can test the device without needing a physical battery? But I was wondering, as batteries age, wouldn't the internal resistance increase? Are we able to measure and emulate different internal resistances? Good question. One of the most impressive features of the instrument is its flexible internal resistance emulation. With coin cell batteries, resistance can range from 10 ohms when fully charged to over 70 ohms when discharging. The instrument is able to mimic this with a programmable internal resistance up to 1000 ohms. The software even includes predefined models for the common coin cell battery where user could tweak the internal resistance and other parameters. If you would like to study how edging affects the battery's capacity, there is one more impressive capabilities of the E36731A, which is battery cycling. Cycling? So it is able to perform charge and discharge in a loop? Yes, that's right. Cycling involves charging and discharging the battery repeatedly to assess its life cycle and measure how it will perform over time. Using the instrument, you can design custom sequences of charge, rest, and discharging a battery at various test conditions to simulate real-world scenario and understand how your battery will perform under actual use. You can perform up to 1,000 cycle operations on the battery to determine the effect of aging and evaluate the battery's reliability. 1,000 cycles. Exactly. And each cycle could have up to 200 charge-discharge steps. With the battery emulation software, you will be able to monitor the battery's vital parameters such as capacity, terminal voltage, current and time to gain a detailed insights into your battery life cycle. So there you have it, a comprehensive walkthrough on how to test your coin cell batteries using the E36731A. Its profiling, emulation and cycling capabilities make it a versatile and indispensable tool for all your battery testing needs. Step into the feature of battery testing using Keysight Battery Emulator and Profiler paired with the Advanced Battery Test and Emulation Software. Visit keysight.com and get yours now. Thanks for watching.